uh, our directory, we have a data subdirectory with the reads that we want to assemble. And now, without installing anything, we can nextflow run, and then we type the username slash repository name, where the pipeline is, so teletin slash nextflow example. We must specify a release that can be a branch like minus r main uh, or a tag like minus r 1.0 and this is to ensure reproducibility and then because we don't have the software installed we can specify minus profile docker and we will uh, use the docker container that the developer prepared uh, for uh, their pipeline and the only input parameter here is minus minus reads uh, that is uh, providing the pattern to create a pair then channel. So data, the directory, then star underscore r in brackets one comma two dot fastq dot gz. When we run this, Nextflow is collecting the workflow from GitHub and then is reading the configuration and then is downloading the packages, in this case, the Docker container and it's executing all the tasks. And when it's done, when all the tasks finished, we can see that now we have a work directory with the temporary files and the, the novo directory, that is the default output directory with all the subdirectories. And this includes, uh, for example, the assemblies and uh, abricate uh, AMR predictions and multiqc report.html, that is the uh, final report of the pipeline.